Today is Thanksgiving Day, and we think of, I don't know about you, but when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of the gobbling turkeys, the big feasts and family gatherings, going, traveling to our family and having a feast or mingling with relatives and watching football or whatever, playing football or whatever. These family things, we think of Thanksgiving. But of course, the original intention was to, a day to give thanks to God. The pilgrims wanted to give thanks to God for all their blessings, for bringing them to a new country where they're free to practice their religion and other things. So a day of thanksgiving to God, and so of course is a very religious day, a religious event, which of course has become the, well, as so many other things, religion gets sort of swept under the carpet and uh, we uh, replace it with secular things like, like Christmas so many times. But we come back to the, to this, certainly the church has sanctified this day here in America where we celebrate Thanksgiving, sanctified it and made a mass out of it, a special mass um, Offer, uh, options for today and it is a, a day for us to reflect because Thanksgiving is, is a major aspect of our Christian life, a major aspect of our spiritual life because when we, when we pray, Thanksgiving is one of the four major ways to pray, adoration, Thanksgiving, petition, and uh, in reparation or sorrow for our sins, asking for forgiveness. So Thanksgiving is very important, and it's and when we exercise it, when we practice Thanksgiving, it's such a beautiful way to pray, to say thank you to God for so many blessings, for everything, because we are naked before God. We are nothing. Everything we have is from God. So we thank him for our very life, our mind that uh, we can think, and our feet and hands that we can walk and do things, and our very body, these basic things we need to thank God for. We need to thank him for our family, for our Catholic faith, which gives us such consolation and purpose and meaning in life, for our vocation in religious life or married life, for our family. Uh, our job, all these things we have to thank him for on a daily basis, have that spirit of thanksgiving to God. This is our obligation to God who is so good to us. And we should thank him too for our crosses and difficulties that really build a good character in us and teach us to teach us many things and help us not to be selfish and to help us to be thankful for the health that we do have, the prosperity that we do get, but also for the merits that we gain for eternal life and the promises that God gives us to us. Everything, we should be thankful to God for the good and the bad and the prayers answered and all the many blessings that we have every day. We should dedicate ourselves to thankfulness and we can do that with the spirit of humility. If we're not humble, we're not real aware of our nakedness and our nothingness and our sinfulness even more. If we're not aware of that keenly, keenly aware from the depths of our being, then we're not going to be very thankful. And if we're not thankful, we're not going to love very much. We're not going to love God and say thank you. You know, thanks and love go together. They go hand in hand. When we thank God, we, our hearts well up with love for God. We say, thank you, I love you, God. And give, you know, may I always be appreciative. And the more thankful, the more we love God, the more we appreciate, and then the more God gives to us, the more grace, the more blessings God gives to us. They, they do really go hand in hand, and they feed each other love and thanks. And at the base of it is our humility, our dependency, the spirit of our understanding and awareness of our dependency on God. You can see that in, in the poor and those who suffer, 
and those who help the suffering, they're so thankful, deeply thankful, and the poor are so thankful when they're given things. And those who are sad and people treat them kindly, they're so thankful because they didn't have it. And so we need to be always conscious and, and recalling our nothingness and, and our dependency on God for everything and not get caught up in self-sufficiency and the things that we have and the talents that we have and get caught up in that and say, I don't need, I don't need to say thanks. I have it. And so, you know, as the, as the Pharisees did, they, you know, they, they, they prided themselves in what they had and the Pharisee and the publican, the publican saw his nothingness and sinfulness and he, all he did, he wouldn't even look up to God. He just said, Lord, have mercy on me. And the Pharisee would <clears throat> say, you know, I, would pride himself in the things that he does and you know and he didn't please God so it's so important to be thankful and this is a reminder today to be very thankful and just to to use this 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 uh, form of prayer to really nourish our spiritual life to make it grow and uh, be full of life and full of joy and full of love for God full of thankfulness and uh, let us not forget forget if we don't recall all the good things that God gives to us we're not thankful then either so we have to, part of thankfulness is a virtue we make that uh, effort to think about all the things that God does for us and if we don't recall we don't think we're too forgetful then we become unappreciative ungrateful and we offend God in that way just like these, uh, these nine, nine uh, Samaritans who, uh, or maybe these, these ten lepers, nine of them sort of forgot that Jesus was their benefactor. They just went off and to the priests, and I'm sure they were probably a little bit thankful, but not enough, not enough to go back to Jesus and say thank you and fall on their, fall on their face like this one Samaritan did. He remembered and he went back and said thank you. We have to do that. We have to remember all the good things other people do for us. Remember that we are nothing, that we are sinners, that we have offended God so many times and he's so good to us nevertheless. And he continues to show mercy to us. And we should thank God with hearts full of thankfulness after confession that he's forgiven us. And it's a sacrament of thanksgiving too. We walk away full of thanks and love for God for his mercy to us. We see that in St. Mary Magdalene, her immense thankfulness at the feet of Jesus, washing his feet with her tears and her hair and her, you know, imagine what she felt after Jesus said she, her many sins are forgiven because she has loved much. She would probably would have broken down in greater tears and greater thankfulness and greater love for, for our Lord. And that's what we should do uh, after confession and in every day of our, our life. So let us ask Our Lady to, to help us to be thankful, to be thankful and to continue to nourish our, our faith, nourish our love for God in thankfulness. Thank you.